Um, our next guest is someone I've just met about a week ago, I guess, and this has been an amazing experience, just planning this project and planning this conference. This guy is just a remarkable man. He's, he's a renowned researcher uh, at the Genomics Institute of the Novartis Research Foundation, which is literally like a stone's throw away from here, right across the street almost. Um, he's a very, very highly respected cancer researcher. But the thing that really resonated with me the most and what really brought us together, I think I'm too close to the mic, huh? Um, what really brought us together was the fact that he's also a writer. And he writes, he wrote a book called China Insights for China's cancer patients. It's not a very common uh, market. He's one of the few people that's doing this. And he writes a blog for China's cancer patients. He is, in addition to being a researcher, he's a true patient advocate. And he's from China, and he, he has a personal experience with cancer that he may tell you about. If not, I understand. But please give a warm welcome to Dr. Zhizhong Li. Uh, it's a great pleasure to be here. As Jamie said, we just met actually five days ago. It was last Thursday afternoon. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, as Jamie said, I actually uh, am, my job is, uh, day, daily job is uh, as a scientific researcher I'm, uh, in GF where we are doing, uh, my person is looking for new treatment for pediatric cancer patients, so kids. Um, and uh, during my Nighttime, uh, where my wife is a lawyer, so she is always working, so just leave me and my TV. So I figured I should do something more important. <laughs> so I began to write um, popular sci science essays uh, for the uh, Chinese cancer patients. And at the beginning, just my hobby, writing on my blog, but turns out to be uh, pretty welcome, popular um, uh, on the internet. So uh, recently, it's uh, got, so the blog and other things got. Uh, published, as I said, it's actually called Cancer Insights, Sorry. maybe China Cancer Insights, um, where I described what is cancer from very basic, what is cancer, and what's new, what kind of new treatment available for the cancer patients. So I totally agree with everybody what said. The most important thing is hope for the patients, uh, especially for probably so important in, uh, in China because most of the patients have no idea what's going on or you know, most of the physicians, in, oncologists in China are not uh, as well educated or as well um, known about what the new therapy is about. So there's always a five to, to 10 years lag between what's available here to what's available in China. It's changing, but it's still several years <coughs> behind. Um, so I want to tell them what's going on here uh, so they know they still have hope. If they can hang on, even the current therapy may not cure them. Um, if they hang on for two or three years, maybe the next one will be able to cure them. So that's my goal is to keep them hang. Um, I have some several uh, course uh, with lymphoma. So the first one was uh, uh, when I was in graduate school in Duke. Uh, one of my best friends, who is also was a PhD student there, got lymphoma. Um, so she was treated very intensively by chemo, and she was actually a new mom, so just gave birth to a child about half a year ago. So it was very, very tough emotionally as well as well physical, physically. So from that, because I learned lymph what is lymphoma, because my research was focused on GBM, so brain tumor, I have no idea what lymphoma was, so I began to learn those things. So even for a cancer biologist, it's still, you know, most of the time we don't know what lymphoma is. Um, so I threw that experiment and no, treatment is tough, um, but lymphoma is completely treatable. You know, she's very, she's happy, she's a mom of three now. Um, she's doing really well as a scientist, so doing research, um, I think, I forgot where, like in Kansas, I believe. So that's my first story. Second story is so since I published this book, I got lots of requests from the patients in China asking all sorts of questions where which I think only clinicians can answer. Um, but one of the things I was able to help is, as the doctor just said, lymphoma is a lot in the mixture of lots of diseases. So the pathology diagnostic is so important that can uh, determine what a treatment you should get. 
Um, but in, unfortunately, in China, as a general, there is no good pathologist tra training system. So most of the pathologists in China are not trained at all, like here. So many of them, uh, so many of the lymphoma patient got misdiagnosed and mistreated. So I did some very small project where I get several friends who are pathologists here in the hospital here, and uh, helped uh, five lymphoma patients in China who said they cannot get diagnosed correctly because the patient physician basically tells them they don't know what type of lymphoma they have or even not sure whether it's a lymphoma. So I helped them do that. It's a very small project. You know, I didn't do too much. I just helped them make the connection and work out the logistics. But from that little experience, I, I think there, it can be much bigger. I think even you know, the physician exchange program definitely needs a pathologist exchange program. Um, that can be super helpful. So you know, there are lots of things we can do, and lots of things need to be done. Certain great leads uh, for the lymphoma patients in China, and I definitely agree that the whatever 30,000 people, some death is overly, overwhelmingly underestimated. Um, so it's definitely a lot more because the, the registry is not great there. So lots of people got misdiagnosed or just not counted at all. So great projects. I'm so happy to meet Jamie and everybody here. So I'm looking forward to uh, working with all of you on this exciting project and uh, help more patients in China. Thank you. Take me a little while to read this. It's in Chinese. I'm learning a little bit. You have two of the translators. Yes. <laughs> well, needless to say, we have many translators in this in this project. So, but I'm learning. You know, I can say "wa I know how to say "I love you" at least. Um, speaking of pathologists, thank you very much. What a, another another inspirational talk. This is quite a night. 